Good afternoon. Hello. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. My name is Barry. And I'm Jay. And together we are two Sucra. Yes. Welcome to our channel. We're independent stamping up demonstrate your space in the UK. So if you live in the UK, France, Germany, Austria, or the Netherlands, you'll be able to purchase current stamping up products from our online shop. Do use the current host code, which can be found on our website at victosucrafts.com to receive a handmade card from us the following month or any extra gifts if your order qualifies. Ooh, and we have a Tommy um, <laughs> in the form of tutorial bundles by the Stamping Glam Squad and the Global Creative Project. So today Barry is doing his fun full Friday. Oh, where is he going? <laughs> and he'll be using the tea boutique suite. Yes. So I'm going to use a cup of tea and the teacup dies, which is from the tea boutique suite, as Jay's mentioned. Um, and the paper. And um, going to be using the tea boutique, tea boutique paper. paper. So yes. So I'm going to make you a very easy step card or step card today. So this is so easy, anyone can do it. Um, it's straightforward. Yeah. Why are you laughing? <laughs> it's anyone, so easy. It's so easy. <laughs> Do you agree? It's so easy. It is very easy. It's an easier version, yes. And we did it uh, during our um, team gathering. Team training, team yes. yes. So I think we've done it for an in-person class as well. We did, we? but we changed the orientation. Yes, yeah. we did. So good, so that's what I'm going to do to you for you tonight. I will be working in inches. Um, I haven't got a conversion, unfortunately, for centimetres, so I'm going to be doing it in inches because it's just easier um, for me, that is. Yes, well, nothing. I'll see if I can go and work it out at the same ah. time in centimetres as I'm going along. But it will be all be in inches. So let's um, go eyes down and let's crack on. So are we going to say hi to everyone? Yeah, first? let's say hello because you're doing the live. So we already have Valerie, hello to Betty. Um, our normally Madam Paper request count commissioner, but we're not doing that tonight. <laughs> no. We also have Linda, hello to Angie and Sue and Marina. Thank you so much for joining us. Good. Do share the um, the video if you can in your social media uh, with your crafty friends. We'll definitely appreciate it. Yes, yeah. hit that share button. Give us a thumbs up as well if you're enjoying what you see. So just go eyes down and we will crack on with tonight's demo. There we go. So, isn't this lovely? Oh, 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 oh. sorry. Tommy's just, Jay's just taken the chair away to go and sit down on it at the other computer and Tommy tried to jump on it as he lifted it. Um, completely missed the chair. <laughs> Lovely. All right. So as mentioned, it's a cup of tea um, stamp set. So this can be found on page number. It's at the very front of the catalogue, so it's not that hard to find at all. Can be paged on found. Can be paged on found. Can be found. Oh, to start again. Can be found on page numbers twelve and thirteen of the new annual catalogue. So this is it here, You've got some lovely patterns. It's a really bright and cheery stamp set and bundle. You've got some lovely card envelopes here as well. Actually, maybe Jay, you can get me those card envelopes at one when, when you've got time. We can show those a bit later because oh, later, they're really pretty as well. Um, but I'm gonna be using the stamp set and the papers. What are they? There, uh, oh no, I've got them here, I think, haven't I? Yes, I've got them, I actually have got them here because they are part of the, um, I put them there. So they also come with this, I haven't even opened these yet. So let's just show you these quickly whilst we whilst we have them. So this is all also part of this suite. So you get these pre-printed envelopes and card bases. And Mitzi's the first time catching you live. Hi Mitzi. Thank you for coming to join us. Good one to catch us live on as well. Fun fold. So here we go, so this is these ones here. So you've got these lovely um, pre-printed envelopes. So you've got them here, which is that, and they're even stamped and got some patterns on the back right here as well. So these are really pretty. And you've got these in all four colors. These are in all the new in colors. You've got your parakeet party. Four. Five. Sweet sorbet. You have got Tahitian tide. Orchid oasis and Starry Sky. So that's the envelopes and then you've got them in the card bases as well. So you get these lovely patterns. So this is kind of like a repeat of the designer series paper which is in the pack as well, but it's actually just already pre-printed. So you get four of each card, um, four of each design 
and four envelopes to coordinate as well. I think these are really pretty. Joe's standing over me and laughing and No, I was just thinking, is, I was kind of thinking, um, can you use those card base? But you can't because it's a different orientation. All uh, right, okay, yes. Um, you can't. You could do it the other way. Yeah, no, it won't work. No. Maybe another video. But yes, we will see what we can do with those at some other point. But that's sort of, but we're not using those tonight. But I just wanted to show you those because they are part of the they are part of the bundle. Okay, so, so as mentioned, this one right here. I'm going to be using. I don't actually know now because I've kind of like changed it a little bit. We will see. These are the two patterns which I have dug out. My original, my prototype was using this paper right here and I used sweet sorbet cardstock which was this one right here as my card base. What I was thinking of doing was maybe making see that's gonna be too blue I think <laughs> that one could work right there. I might go with that one and that one there for tonight. So we're going to get it's going to be a very blue card, blue and purple. So you've got Tahitian Thai cardstock, and we're going to have the Orchid Oasis Designer Series paper, which is this one right here. So I'm going to cut this down to size. I'm just going to grab my trimmer. One thing I haven't got myself, Jay, is some basic white for stamping. So I'm going to cut myself some um, paper. So I'm going to be cutting this along, so like in portrait position, in portrait orientation, and I'm going to cut this at four and one eighths of an inch. So basically, you're cutting an A4 cardstock, or for us in the UK anyway, an A4 cardstock in half. So that's actually ten and a half centimeters, four and one eighths of an inch. Okay. I'm then going to then cut this on the long edge. I'm just going to turn this around like this and I'm going to cut this at 11 and a quarter inches which is 28.6 centimeters so 11 and a quarter 28.6 you should have done it at 11 as in like because US sizes oh I, yes I should have done um, Barry will make another one <laughs> yeah and, and I'm not going to I don't, would that work? Would that throw my orientation out completely? Well, what you could do is, imagine, is you could take it to 11. It would just make the card a little bit smaller, I think. We will, I might have to have a play around with that one in a moment. Um, then what we're going to do is I'm going to take another one here and I'm going to take this to two and one eighth of an inch, which is 5.4 centimetres. And then I'm going to first take that to 11 and a quarter inches as well. Maybe Jake, could you just pass me over some uh, piece of beta, um, A4 um, scrap paper, and I'll see if the 11 inch works as well. There you go. It's already cutting. Okay. Oh, Jay was going to have a little look at that as well. So 11, if we do it for you, you're obviously in for the US and um, Canada, obviously you've got um, 11 inch cardstock. So we're just, I'm just gonna see if this works, if the measurements work for you. So then what you want to do, and we'll, we'll check that in a moment, but if you're using our, the ones which I've given you, which is four and one eighths by 11 and a quarter, what you wanna do is you wanna score this at one and a quarter inches. Two and a half inches and six and seven eighths of an inch. So let's give you that again. So, in, so one and a quarter, which is 3.2, you're going to go for two and a half, which is 6.4, and then you're going to then take it to six and seven eighths, which will be. 14.9 cents. Um, sorry, not 14.9, 17 and a half centimeters. Okay, so that's that. Take your other piece which you've got here, so your smaller piece, and you just want to score this in half at five and five eighths of an inch, which is 14.9. Point... 
14.3 centimeters. Okay. Are you having a look to Joe to see if it works? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so Jay's just working out for the eleven for the US sizes the score lines for you, if you are interested in that. So once you've done that, we are going to then take our designer series paper. So remember, this is the one which I'm going to be using here, and I'm going to be cutting these at. Now it doesn't really matter on this one here. It will matter if you want to use the back side and its orientation. So just, but if you're not worried about using this side, it doesn't matter because this side is an orientation specific. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this at three and seven eighths of an inch, which is nine point eight centimeters. And then I'm going to then turn this one round again. And I'm going to take this to four and one eighth of an inch, which is ten and a half centimeters. And then this one here is then going to be three and seven eighths, which it already is anyway, by one inch, which is two and a half centimeters. And that bit there we're not using okay so that's two pieces and then with this long piece which you've got here you want to cut this at one and seven eighths of an inch which is 4.5678 4.8 by five and three eighths of an inch which will be 13.6. Okay, and that's those. What we're gonna do first is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna stick these down to it. So just have these laid out in front of you and then we're gonna stick one of these is gonna go over onto this side over here. Let me just move some stuff out of the way so you can see. One is going to go here, one is going to go in here, and then one is going to go down like that. So you can go ahead and you can go and stick those down. This is when I would say you need to be make sure you have your, or if you've got a pattern which is orientation specific, the size, the, the width of it is your three and seven eighths of an inch. So, and the, lo the longer part is that. So if you needed it to be orientation specific, make sure you get it the correct way round when you're cutting that box because I'm using that side it doesn't matter it isn't working so just be aware of that one when you cut it all right so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stick that down I'm not going to do any folding or burnishing just yet so stick So if you um, if you do want to follow our measurements, obviously when you are in the US and Canada, you will just need to use 12 by 12 cardstock. That will work for you, obviously. And you'll be able to get quite a few of these out as well. So. Well, definitely two cards per 12 by 12 sheet anyway. Or if you change it to four inches, yeah, or Jace just said if you change it to four inches, you'll get three of them out. So just have a little think about how you're um, how you're doing it. But hopefully it's so easy for this one. Jay's just going to template for us, which is good. So I'm just going to stick this one down here. So it's given a nice border around the edge, so we can still, so we're not covering this lovely new color, this lovely new Tahitian tide co um, color but we've got the contrast between the two. I'm just going to turn this light on to see whether or not. So that's that, there and there. Okay, I'm just going to pop those to one side for a moment and let those dry before I do anything. And what before I do that, I'm going to do some stamping. So I'm going to stamp some elements. So I have got myself here the teacup, 
Now I'm going to stamp my teacup in Starry Sky. Now I've got these lovely little ink spots which we've recently done. We do have the big pads as well, but I've got these lovely little ink spots. So if you um, wanted to, you can buy these. These come to you empty, no ink in them, and then you buy the ink refills, pop your ink into it, and then you can ink it up. It makes it a lot more portable as well. So if you wanted to, um, if you're doing some travelling, or you want to... Um, take more ink with you this is a perfect way of doing it um, they're a lot lot easier to transport great for stamparatus right great for stamparatus and we've just got them in this box don't ask me where i got this box we've been given this um from some what did i can't remember what they can you remember what they were for what, what we were told they were for initially for i think they might be like makeup um containers Yes, yeah, so these are also good. The ink spots are perfect for the stamparatus as well because you've got a smaller surface area and it's easier to ink up. So this is definitely something I would recommend you you use. So I've got my starry sky right there. I'm going to go and so I'm going to stamp all of these in. Now I have done all of I have pre-cut a lot of this stuff already, but I'm going to stamp them for you so you can see how lovely they are. So you have got the parakeet party. We will do in the for the leaves there. We will also do the parakeet party for this lovely bit of greenery right here. And we're going to do two of those. So see if you can buy just buy the reinks if you want, and then uh, along with your big ink pad. So you've got so if you're going to be think you're going to be using them a lot, then that's a good way of then making sure you don't run out of ink. So that's those ones there. So Starry Sky Parakeet Party. I have also got some other elements. I'm going to do some sweet sorbet for this little bit right here. That one. I've actually already got the lemon on here. Oh, that's actually a bit more orangey, actually. So let's do it in the in the daffodil delight. No, it's probably the same one. You can buy the ink spots where they've got them. There, they've actually got ink in them as well. So do have a little look at those. They come in packs of ten, so you can like get the whole the whole. Um, collection of a colour family on those ones there and then I'm going to then just stamp the flowers so these come with a die but you can if you were if you were st just stamping down you can if you weren't die cutting this out you can just go ahead and you can stamp these directly down onto this but because I'm going to die cut this out it doesn't die cut these out at the same time so you need to do these separately and I'm going to do these in orchid oasis <coughs> excuse me Sue Mitchell said embroidery thread box or a bead box, Betty says. Possibly, yes, it could be that. I don't actually know what they are, but yeah, it's not they're not designed for for that, but um for the ink pads. But yeah, I'll just show you them so you can see it, so you may actually see them. But we've been given these as a gift, so we don't actually know where they come from. Um but they've got these little dividers on the inside which you can then take these Take these out, and that's how we start, how we start to storm. So I'm going to slowly start to build up our collection of all of the ink, all of the pads, and then we're just going to label them what we've got, so we know what they are. So it makes them a lot more portable. So when we go on holiday in July, we can take lots of ink with us, yeah, <laughs> and do lots and lots of crafting on the cruise ship with lots and lots of colours. Like that will happen. <laughs> Um, so I'm just going to pop all of that to one side. Then what you're going to do is you're going to die cut all of these out. Now I've gone ahead and I have actually done some stuff, but I will die cut one of them out just so you can see. So if you are new to crafting or don't really know what I'm talking about, then die cutting. What's he talking about die cutting? Our stamp sets come with a coordinating die bundle as well. So this one here is a teacup dies, which are just these metal dies here, which have got these little cutting blades, cutting it a line in them. So you can run it through a little machine and you can die cut them out and you can then without having to use scissors. So you've got these lovely little mini machines right here. 
and we just take some plates. It comes, the machine comes with all the plates you need. And this mini is perfect for beginners as well. But obviously you are restricted on some of the things. You can't do everything with it, but this set definitely goes through. So I'm just gonna use some scissors here and I'm just gonna just cut this out roughly, just so it goes through my machine. So I've seen now, I know we've got a lot of seasoned crafters on here that know what we're talking about here. But for the benefit of anyone new, we pop this on and there's so many different dyes out there for lots of different things. So there is, you can do all sorts. You can emboss with things. So just pop that on, put the plate down on top, and then run that through your machine. And it cuts out just like that. All right, so that's how you do that. And again, I will just quickly just talk this through. A little tip is before you remove them, make sure you draw around your dies so that it's easier for you to then know and place them back in and know where everything goes on this sheet. Because once you start taking them out you and you don't put the lines down, you will never get them back in the way that they came out. And that's what, these are all the dies which you get on them. So you get the inners, so you get the stamping here, you get these little bits which you can um, stamp on the tea bag, like the little end parts, some hearts, some flowers, and then you've got all of these here, and then you've got some detailed ones, you've got a detailed teacup, which is right here with the melon or orange, whatever, with the slices in it as well. So there's definitely a lot you can do with this set. Let's get that in the correct way round. Good, so that's that one there. So I've got to say, I've gone ahead and I cut a lot of this stuff out beforehand, so you don't want to see me sat here cutting all of this stuff. So I have got everything here. So I've got myself my two bits of greenery going on. I've got myself, I did stick the smaller parts already to this because I was scared I was going to lose them. So I stuck the smallest pieces down already. And I've got these ones. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just going to stick these two flowers just to this right here so a little bit of glue on the back and we just stick that one there and we will stick that one down like that all right so they could be drying up whilst we're doing it and with the these ones here <coughs> I'm just going to kind of just pop a little bit of glue on here and I'm just going to offset these a little bit like so. All right. And then obviously I keep taking my glue away and then you just need to pop a little bit of glue on the base of the flowers here and then this lovely teacup then it sits on that. So if you've got these new colours yet, what's your favourite colour? I think mine actually is um, Orchid Oasis. Seems to be my go-to colour at the moment. Which surprised me. I thought it was going to be one of the... I like them all. I love them all actually. But Orchid Oasis seems to be my one which I like at the moment. So you've got yourself a nice little teacup there with some flowers coming out of that. And good. So we will just pop some dimensionals on the back of this so it's all ready to stick down. That one there. I'm going to have a dimensional, it's going to go on the back of this one, but I will need a mini dimensional because it's very tiny. That one right there. And the rest is all gonna get stuck down plain. All right, so that's good. So with the actual card itself, let's pop all of those to one side for the moment. 
with the card itself the folding of this is again cannot be any any simpler so you've got this as it is now jay has already gone ahead oh, i'll fold it first and then i'll tell you jay's one so you want to do this one here as a mountain fold and burnish then you want to do this one here as a valley fold and burnish and then you want to do this one here as a mountain fold and burnish okay so you've got yourself a card which is looking like that all right and then with this one here you just want to fold this in half do your mountain fold and like that so jay has gone ahead and gone and done this one here so is it this one here jay with the measurements on it so if you have got your 11 inch switch if i just double check that that is 11 inches so if you want to do this in your for us and canada a4 or um, a4 sizes um then you want to then do it what i said there was the four and one eighths of an inch by 11 inches and you want to score it at one and a quarter two and a half and four and three eighths of an inch and then that one there will be scored at five and a half inches okay let me just write that down so and that one there is five and a half okay so take a take a shot of that that there is the measurements for the us and canada size papers good all right so that's that so once you've got this this is all it is what we want to do is you want to now stick this down now my tip for you is focus on the front make the front look pretty and then we can always snip the back out if we need to if you if you've misjudged it but if we work from the back and then the front is then going to be tight untidy so start make sure you stick everything from the front first and then working back so pop a little bit of glue on the base of this one here no higher than what that's going to be so just come kind of like out within an inch and then centralize this both sides get it central flush with the bottom here and then stick that down okay and just make sure that's all flush You're way too down early. at the bottom down there like that it really it really confuses the cats when we go live because they think they well, it must be live it must be dinner time but we're an hour earlier Suki Suki okay so that's that one there and then what you want to do now is you want to pop some glue on the back part but no higher than the score line because otherwise you don't want this part sticking down so just pop some glue down like that and then fold that flat and voila there you have it so there is actually your fun fold card okay and then that goes up like that and that there is an easy stepper card without that cutting it out it's so straightforward okay so that's done we are now into just decoration so what I'm going to do is I am going to keep this flat for the time being. And that's going to go on like this. We're going to then have this one going on like that. So a little bit of glue behind these two leaves down here. Again, I'm being sure not to come out past the card here so it doesn't um, interfere with any um, any envelopes. We take the dimensionals off of this one right here. That can then stick on this one like that. We will use the lemon, which I've got cut out. That there is just going to go down the bottom like this. I think that yellow just works quite nicely with this blue. It just kind of cuts that colour a little bit. 
it's a palette cleanser just down like that okay and then I've got the tea bag or the tea bag bit which you wouldn't really have the tea bag obviously in the cup at this point because you've got you've got flowers growing out of it but <laughs> let's not um let's not worry about what's actually correct at the moment um and then that's going to go on like that so again that just cuts the color a little bit like so now so the only thing which i need to pop on here now is a sentiment so we can got a you can either stamp directly onto the card itself now i will just test this for a moment and just see how well this actually works on a bit of this scrap paper just want to see so I would use starry sky on this I'm just gonna test it because on my original one it was um, it was lighter card and that does show up quite nicely on the on the Orchid Oasis cardstock as well so you could stamp directly down onto this if you want to or alternatively, if you wanted to, you could die cut yourself out one of the circles. This is using one of the new, um, what they call Jade the Stylish Shapes, is it? Yes. So you've got circles, squares, and some banners in there. And we can then pop our sentiment in the middle of that one, that, that, like so. And then we can then position this. Now where should I put sentiment, Jay? This is where I need Jay's eye. It's up to you. Now initially I've said initially I've got it up here like this, but I quite like it. I'm quite liking it when it's down here like this a little bit at the moment. So everything's kind of lumped together. And then we can then stick that down. Don't want to come out past the past the actual card but I think something like that works quite nicely you can still see the thank you on that one there and so I'm going to pop a little bit of glue down the side here you can see the original what did, uh, yeah, before yeah. I put glue on it where, no, do, where do you like want it, it? Okay. okay he's just done his normal and it's normally he's got another idea And that goes in. You can tie Baker's twine up there and put a bow in. <laughs> Just to did you, make did it you hear nervous. that? Or did he hear? Did you hear that? Or did he whisper that very, very quietly? That his dad just sent me into a panic because he said Baker's, Baker's <laughs> twine and bow. Baker's twine and bow in the same sentence. It's kind of like that's just not happening. So there we have it. And then when we fold it up, you've got your bits coming out. I quite like it when you've got your bits hanging off of this because it just adds that a little bit more interest to it as well because you've got that dimension you've got that gap it just really pops again it pops off of the card so i just need to just um bone fold this down a little bit more just to help it out obviously it will work as it's been as it's stored flat it will and that there is a simple step card without having to do that fancy cutting and measuring um and that's that there so the original one was I done was like this, which was done in the sweet sorbet with the orchid oasis. Sorry, not the orchid oasis, the um, Tahitian Tide designer series paper. And you can see I stamped the sentiment directly onto the designer series paper on this one here. And then you can see a slightly different. So I've done the same orientation with this, but we've done the sentiment slightly differently. You can do all sorts, you can pop some embellishments up here, some rhinestone to work quite nicely in there as well. But that is the two. Now if you have some tea bags, we obviously the tea bags which are individually wrapped will work better for this. You can store this behind like so. So if you really wanted to, you grab yourself a glue dot, I reckon would work quite nicely with this. Where did I pop it? Where did I, did anyone see where I put the paper, take your pick tool? There it is there. You can just 
press it on. Oh, I can just push it on there, can't I? I always yeah. forget that I can do that. Bit of, um, <laughs> oh, well, he says, but he still can't get it off. A glue dot on the back of a tea bag. And then you can then position that on the inside of your... Or slightly higher, so then the fold. It's got glue on it, so it should fold. Like that. So therefore you have given yourself a card, thank you card, with a tea bag in there as well. You might want to put a couple of glue dots on that just to secure it just a little bit better. But you don't want to you don't want to have it so when they put it off it tears it. So just probably one is just enough just to give it a little bit of flexibility. So there we have it. There is my Fun Fold Friday, which is an easy step card with a tea bag included. So what do you think? Do you like it? Mitzi, very clever. Thank you very much. So, excellent. Um, Jay, you going to come over and say goodbye? He's just, saying, he's just putting his last um, comment in there. Yes, so please do remember to give us a thumbs up um, if you have liked what you've seen. And, um, yeah. So let's come over to our... <laughs> That's that one there. Here's one that I made earlier. And I've seen these were, these will fit in your um your standard envelopes yes. as well. So which is nice. So excellent. I hope you've enjoyed that. So thank you very much for watching um tonight's Fun Fold Friday. And yes. we'll be back again on Sunday evening, same time, same place. But in the meantime, if you would like to purchase anything from us and you like this week, go ahead, do head over to our online shop. Um, website, God, let's go over on our website, matusucraft.com. Links to our online shop will be there, and um, you can purchase anything you see us using. Sorry, I'm just look <laughs> looking at the fold. You can see his mind's going, What can I do different? You, you can do a wiper. Card. It works, obviously, it will, work, it will probably work well as a, a side step card as well, potentially. That would all that might work differently as well. Yes, we said that already last time, didn't we? We said yeah. that would work. So there we go, I might do another one like this, just to do a, a sidestep card. There we go, that's it's Fun Fold Friday, just a different design. No, it won't be. <laughs> so good, excellent. All right, thank you all so much for watching, and we will be back with you again, um, like I said, Sunday, same time, same place, and probably two Fridays' time for another Fun Fold Friday. Cool. Thank you, See everyone. See you later, everyone. Take care. Bye-bye. See ya. Bye.